<laughs> well, I love you. Love you, Mom. Bye bye. Thank you so much. It's dangerous. More dangerous than a dull one. I see. Bye, guys. See you later. I've never felt this feeling before. <laughs> this is it, I don't have anything to say. I'm alone. So I've got the compass, we're gonna walk blindly through the woods for maybe another half an hour and hopefully find our first lake, second Fowler Lake, Fowler Lake. Doesn't matter as long as there's water. That's the most important thing. The ground's getting marshier here, which is awesome because that means we're probably getting close to the lake. But I've seen, I don't know, f four or five piles ugh, of this, and I would I would guess that would be bear shit. That's my guess. <laughs> Yo, squirrel! How you doing, brother? Feels so good, I can just pee wherever I want. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is beautiful. I just went knee deep into uh, into peat moss, like into the bog back there, which is not really something I thought about. If it gets too wet, I wear, I'm wearing 70 pounds on my back. That means I'm 260, 250 pounds, and I don't want to, I don't even know if I can cross really, really wet terrain like that. I don't know if that's, Thought I heard something. Yes, awesome, oh, perfect. Found a lake. Not sure which lake, but it's one of the ones I was looking for. That makes me so happy. I'll show you, hold on. <laughs> this is Canada. This is how I picture Canada. This is a Canadian postcard just green and blue and rugged nature. It's so beautiful and a little bit wet. I think where I want to be is, is on the other side of this lake. This could be an interesting spot to stay if I can find two trees that I can string a hammock up, which might be actually over there. Okay, I think that was the hard part. Here we go. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay. How you doing over here? It's the recording. All right. The state has improved since we talked last. I have spent the last few hours setting up camp. It's now it's now 6:30, 6:40. So I've been doing this for about four hours, and I'll show you. It's my latest work of art. Da 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 da. There is tonight's bed. So there is things hanging on the line. Pretty beautiful forest, sun setting over there. Seems like there's animal trails through here. Quite a few. I would say probably moose and deer. And there's three that intersect. I, they're all over here, but I've, anyway, this, this campsite was the best I could find. So in case something comes wandering through at night, I wanna make sure I just feel like I'm a little bit more protected than a hammock hanging between two trees. So I'm trying to build more of a shelter and I will report back when it gets a bit darker. Something I'm not thrilled about. I would l absolutely love a huge ass roaring fire right beside where I'm sleeping, just so I can have some light and some warmth and some comfort on my first night, but the ground is covered in just completely dried out pine needles. I made camp, found a place to stay, that's great. Uh, next priority is putting the food up in a tree to keep animals away. To be honest, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit anxious for tonight. Tree one, tree two. Top branch, that one right there, over top. Three, two, one. Oh, got caught in my waist. No, no, no. Batter, 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 batter. Ugh. Yeah, that's it. I anticipated this being a tough night. I didn't anticipate not having a fire. There she is, home sweet home. Patch up the holes. Got a 
find a name for it. Name for the first camp. Maybe tomorrow will be the day we find the name. Let's see how tonight goes. Something big in the woods across the river. You can hear it thrashing around. Hey! Oh my god, it's... I don't know what it is, but it's... Oh, it's a... Fucking it's a bear. fucking bear. Hey! Mike get eaten by a bear? Is Mike dead right now? Did Mike make it out of the woods? We don't even know. We'll find out next week. Next Wednesday when I release the second episode of Living in the Forest. It gets pretty weird by the end of it. I go a little bit crazy. I was watching the footage. You might want to see it. Anyway, I'm in Toronto right now. I'm on the way down south to film some scuba content for Kick the Grind. I can't wait to show you guys. And episode two of this project will be live next week. Thank you for watching. Experience over possessions. Kick the grind. Later.